In my mind, Momo can do anything. She never gives up. She will work on it until she has mastered it. Competing against other swimmers is kind of fun for me. I'm technically competing against myself to get a faster time. When I'm challenging myself, I can build up my speed and get stronger with my strokes. But I, I, see, I see a very intelligent, kind, thoughtful, positive girl that could impact lives everywhere. I was running two businesses in New York and I was not prepared to drop everything and run to China to rock babies in a nursery. And then I came to this one crib and there was this baby in this crib and she was smiling at me. That, that's not normal. Normally I'm the one that is smiling at them. I remember the, the exact moment when I realized that her whole forearm was missing and that she only had half of her right arm. And I remember thinking, oh, this beautiful child. She is so beautiful and so happy. And she has no idea. All kids are just that. They are kids. They all have the same feelings. They all have the same need for love and caring. And just because part of your body is missing doesn't mean that you're different in any way, shape, or manner. It's not about what's on the outside. It's about what's on the inside. Can I have the other one? Thanks. Momo has an occupational therapist. Obviously there's some things that are difficult to do when you have only one hand. So I asked the occupational therapist if she could help Momo learn how to tie her shoes because I had no idea how to do that. So she said, no, she doesn't have the dexterity and when she's in third grade, they'll help her tie her shoes. It was not the answer I was looking for. So I finally came up with what I thought was the magic way to teach her how to tie her shoes. And it took me three months to figure it out. It took her less than three minutes to master it. I will say that most children are curious and want to know, but there are kids who are outright mean. She's been called zombie, freak. It's hard for an adult to be ridiculed, so you can only imagine what it's like for a nine-year-old girl to go through that. So when people get older, they become, of course, more wiser. They've had experiences of their own. They can actually understand, hopefully, uh, hopefully, understand what I'm doing. One of the things she said to me was, I just want to be able to open the door to the house. It's simple, simple things that make her happy. Can you say hi to Mama? Can you see Mama? So yeah, Easton, what an amazing person he is. He asked about, you know, her hopes and dreams, and she said, you know, what I'd really like is a hand where all the fingers move. And he said, all right, I think we can make that happen. And the mom and me is going, no, we can't, because that costs $120,000. Easton can get me one arm, then that could inspire everyone else to do the same. So all the children with needs can get their own arms. Do you think your life would be different if you had two hands? So-so. Personality, no, that does not, having two arms and two hands does not change my personality, it might change others' perspective, but it will not change my personality. I'm getting an arm that has fingers that actually move. Are you excited? Yeah, yeah. very excited. <laughs>